Plate tectonics works on the surface, but clearly the, the Earth is, is not a rigid enterprise. So what went on below? And it was clearly some form of thermal convection. We could see that. One of the things that really troubled me was some work that Paul Gast, who was a geochemist at Le Mont, had done. And he, found, he looked at, at the isotopic ratios in ocean islands. And what he found was that the, these ratios required the source regions of these ocean islands to have been isolated for a giga year. And this seemed completely bizarre. How could you have a region which was in the convecting mantle and being stirred? How could it remain separate for a thousand million years? So I thought this had to have some really important implications for what was happening in the mantle. I knew essentially nothing at that stage about uh, isotope geochemistry. So I did what I always do, which is to, to try and work with, with people who do know better. Right? So I learnt quite a lot of, of isotope geochemistry and, and petrology then. But what I didn't know anything about was how melt, melts were produced in the mantle and how they separated from their residues. I assumed that this was you know, all thoroughly understood. It was just my ignorance. So I took out all the undergraduate textbooks from the library and none of them had anything to say about this at all. So I thought, well, you know, this is a branch of fluid mechanics. I understand fluid mechanics. Why don't I sit down and see whether I can actually see how to set up this problem from essentially the conservation laws of mass, momentum and energy. And I derived a set of equations which I assumed that, that somewhere in particularly Russia, because the Russians are very good at deriving equations, that there would be some obscure paper published probably in Novosibirsk where all these equations were derived. Uh, but no, that seems not to be the case. So rather to my embarrassment, they're now known as McKenzie equations. Right from you know, the 1920s when this subject got going, seismologists are used to ex exchanging all the data that they collect. The isotope geochemists absolutely won't work with each other. And they are amazing. Right? They won't share samples. So I thought, right, I am going to work on a spreading ridge if I can, right? and I'm going to collect the samples, I'm going to map it properly. I could then interest all the very best isotope geochemists and, and, and people in this. And they did a wonderful job on it. Uh, I mean, I think the answer now to Paul Gast's uh, original work is quite extraordinary, which is that, yes, the mantle is very well stirred, but it isn't well mixed because the material doesn't diffuse, but it's, it's, it's just like, you know, Brighton Rock. It's just streaked, right? And in some way that we still don't understand, the melt can be extracted from those streaks without interacting with any of the rest of it. And how that works is still quite mysterious.